hi guys i hope you guys are well let's continue our discussion of working out lamps so far we have completed our journey of command categories we now know what the four parts of the lamp scripts are and how to further think about them in terms of commands at least some of the commands mm, so we can think of a problem and divide it into four parts and execute it by borrowing commands that we just know or we can refer to lamps documentation and search for the related commands so in the first example we will see how to calculate viscosity in lamps so let's begin first of all what is viscosity viscosity is a measure of the tendency of a fluid to transmit momentum in a direction perpendicular to the direction of flow its formula is j equal negative eta times the gradient of velocity flow here j is the momentum flux in units of momentum per unit area per unit time and the gradient of velocity is actually the spatial gradient of the velocity of the fluid moving in another direction rearranging these equations give an eta equals the ratio of momentum flux to the negative of the gradient of velocity of the flow and that's how we will calculate viscosity by calculating the momentum flux and the spatial gradient of the velocity flow from the lamp script so how to calculate viscosity there are many methods for calculating the viscosity of fluid first one is a non equilibrium molecular dynamics simulation by sharing the simulation box via the fix deform command and using the fix nvt slot command to thermostat the fluid via the slot equation of motion and the second method is a setup of one or more moving walls to shear the fluid in between them in this method only the thermal means non shearing component of the velocity is thermostated to prevent the fluid from heating up so what is uh, actually what is the thermostating simply thermostating is a process of maintaining the temperature of system in present case it is a fluid so anyway how to get values for eta equation will be discussed in coming slide for now i am focusing possible option for calculation of viscosity using lamps so third method available is to perform a reverse non equilibrium molecular dynamics sim uh, simulation using the fix viscosity command uh, which basically implements the reverse nemd algorithm of M muller and plate momentum in one dimension is swap between atoms in two different layers of the simulation box in a different dimension this induces a velocity gradient which can be monitored via fix average chunk command we will see these uh, fix commanded fix commands in coming slides in more detail but for now i'm just sharing the options available in lamps for calculation of viscosity four method is based on the green kubo formula which relates the ens ensemble average of the auto correlation of the stress and pressure tensor to the eta it calculates the it calculates the eta directly this can be done in a fully equilibrium equilibrated simulation which in which is in contrast to the preceding non equilibrium methods where momentum flows continuously through these through the simulation box the fifth method is related to the above green kubo method but uses the einstein formulation which is equal to the einstein mean square displacement formulation for self diffusivity
कि टाइम इंटीग्रेटेड मोमेंटम फ्लक्स प्लेस रोल ऑफ द कार्डिजियन कोऑर्डिनेट हुज मीन स्केयर डिस्प्लेटमेंट इंक्रीजेस लीनियरली विद इन विद टाइम एट अ सफिशेंट लॉन्ग टाइम एंड द लास्ट मैथड इज प्रोडिक प्रडवेशन मैथड इट इज ऑल्सो नॉन इक्लिब्रियम मैथड हाउ एवर इंस्टेड ऑफ मेजर मेजरिंग द मोमेंटम फ्लक्स इन द रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ अप्लाइड वेलासिटी इट मेजर्स द वेलासिटी प्रोफाइल इन रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ अप्लाइड स्ट्रेस सो लेट्स डिस्कस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंट्यूटिव मैथड फर्स्ट वी कैन स्टडी द शेयर विस्कॉसिटी ऑफ ए फ्लोइड by sharing the fluid between two walls where one wall is movable so what are the requirements from lamb script as the formula says we need momentum flux let's say in y direction so we need a gradient with respect to y in x component of the velocity simply as we will see when one wall will move in x direction it will shear the fluid in between and fluid layer will exert resistance by knowing the momentum transfer in perpendicular direction of the stream flow we will be able to calculate viscosity so how to set up the problem we will define two rigid walls made of atoms where one is movable only we put our fluid in between these wall where shearing will cause the velocity gradient and a velocity profile can be monitored using fixed average chunk command and pressure or tensor stress tensor can be calculated using compute pressure command so putting all the values into formula gives us the viscosity of fluid as follows as we know eta equals the momentum flux divided by the negative gradient of the x component of the velocity with respect to y direction y direction is the direction of momentum transfer so our momentum um, our momentum flux is equal to pressure tensor since we are sharing the fluid with wall we know the shear rate and has the velocity gradient and we also know the y box length so our simple setup will look like a box with two walls movable one movable wall in blue and the immovable wall in green where fluid whose viscosity is needed is in red color here in between the valves so our video has reached a length of 8 minutes so i like to stop here in the next video i will walk through the problem of calculating viscosity so see you guys in the next one stay tuned